As most of you probably know by now, Samantha Markle has been a vocal critic of her half-sister Meghan ever since she became involved with Prince Harry. She's given multiple controversial interviews where she's accused Meghan of being a social climber, a narcissist, and of abandoning their father Thomas Markle after finding fame and fortune. Samantha even wrote an infamous tell-all book about Meghan called The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister, which painted an unflattering portrait of her as a selfish socialite. Samantha has long claimed that Meghan faked her pregnancy with Archie in order to stay relevant in the spotlight. She alleges that Meghan and the royal family conspired to stage fake baby bump photos and that Archie was actually a surrogate baby from the beginning. Of course, these were all unsubstantiated claims without a shred of proof. Until now, that is... In her latest bid to expose her half-sister, Samantha Markle has come forward with what she calls definitive proof that Meghan had to have undergone a secret hysterectomy at the young age of 28, years before she met Harry. In an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail, Samantha presented a photograph that she says is medical records from Meghan's procedure. The photo, which has been blurred for privacy, shows Meghan's name and date of birth along with details about the hysterectomy surgery. Samantha claims she obtained this photo from an anonymous source within Meghan's former acting agency. She says she had the documentation authenticated by forensic handwriting experts who verified it was real medical records. According to Samantha, this proves Meghan could not have carried or given birth to Archie naturally, as the royal story goes. She says it supports her previous claims that Archie was a surrogate baby and part of an elaborate fake pregnancy plot. While this photo does seem damning at first glance, there are several big red flags and reasons to doubt its authenticity. First of all, medical records are confidential documents that are illegal to share without patient consent. It seems very unlikely a reputable medical agency would so carelessly leak Megan's private file to Samantha Markle of all people. Secondly, undergoing a hysterectomy at only age 28 would have been extremely unusual and rare without a serious medical condition necessitating it. Yet there has never been any public knowledge or reports of Megan having any such condition or surgery. You'd think news of a major operation like that would have surfaced before now, but this is the first we're hearing of it. Finally, forensic document examination is an inexact science and results can be unreliable. Without access to the original records for independent review, there's no way to fully verify the authenticity of this one photo that Samantha presents. It would be remarkably easy to fake such a simple document, and Samantha has every incentive to do so, given her history of trying to damage Megan's reputation. Unless Samantha can present verifiable evidence like medical records directly from the source or eyewitnesses, reasonable people have no choice but to view this proof with tremendous skepticism. Her credibility on matters concerning Megan is practically non-existent at this point. This latest accusation seems less like a good faith attempt to uncover the truth and more like a desperate ploy to reignite media controversy and sell more copies of her book. At the end of the day, the claims of one embittered sibling who has repeatedly proven herself unreliable simply do not outweigh all the other evidence we have that Megan's pregnancy and Archie's birth were entirely normal. Unless and until a real medical professional or agency confirms these supposed records are authentic, most will likely dismiss this as just another in a long line of scurrilous attacks from Samantha Markle intended to smear her famous half-sister. In the absence of real evidence, the simplest explanation is usually the right one. And in this case, the simplest explanation is that Samantha is again making unfounded accusations to try and cash in on Megan's fame at the expense of truth or her family's well-being. I think reasonable people will see this proof for what it is, a contrived fake designed to stir up controversy, not uncover the facts. But what do you all think? Do you find Samantha's medical record claims at all credible? Or is this another publicity stunt not to be taken seriously? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for this video, diving into Samantha Markle's latest wild allegations. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this look at the ongoing drama with Megan's extended family. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.